Christmas, everyone. I'm Super Dazza. And I'm Pearly. And welcome to the Christmas special of Smite Community Concepts. Last episode's winner was Swarm King Hunbat by Wolfsum. You can watch that episode by clicking the link in the description, and vote for your favourite concept from this episode at the end of the video. Now on to this episode, which is full of our favourite Christmas concepts that you guys have submitted to us. Enjoy! Apollo! Apollo would be wearing a stereotypical elf costume, complete with green jacket, red trousers, stripy socks and classic elf shoes. The lyre found on his back would be decorated with holiday colours and mistletoe, and his voice would be a festive British voice. For his first ability, so beautiful, Apollo would bring out his decorated lyre and play a tune that would represent a Christmas carol. For serenade, Apollo's second ability, he would clear his throat and let out a very merry fa la 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 la. For his third ability, the moves, he would take out his sled and use it to slide forwards. When he stopped, he would cause snow to fly out, slowing enemies. And for his ultimate, across the sky, he would call out for Rudolph to bring him a sleigh that he borrowed from Santa. As he rides through the sky, jingle bells would chime and northern light looking stuff would come out of the back of the sleigh. When he's ready to land, he would jump out and throw presents on the ground. Shibalonke. Shibalonke would be. Nah, nah, nah. There's a mate. Sure. Leave the talking after sure, that's me. What you doing. This is my concept after all. You want to talk about your own concept? Yeah, it's Christmas. Go for it. We're going to need subtitles for this dumb accent. Cheers, buddy. All right, kids. So Shibalonke would be the ultimate killer of Christmas spirit with this skin. He's going to be wearing Rudolph's pelt and a colonial hunter coat. He would have frosty tribal tattoos. His weapons would be replaced by deadly snowflake, spinning blades of doom, and his voice is going to be grim and evil. For his first ability, branching bowler, his weapon is going to glow with frost. For poison darts, his second ability, he will throw out a wave of knives. For his third ability, rising jaguar, he would spin around in a small snowstorm, shooting icicles around him. And finally, for his ultimate, darkest of nights. Darkness would be replaced by a snowy whiteout, and an evil elf face would be carved into the stone circle that normally appears above enemies. Najar's clothes would be decorated with candy and candy stains. His shoes would be elf shoes, his spear would be a candy cane, his sash would be a long Snickers bar. No copyright at all, and he would have a jolly voice. For his first ability, Universe Ring Toss, Najar would throw out Jawbreakers. For Flaming Spear, his second ability, his candy cane weapon would glow and become a lot brighter. For Armillary Sash, his third ability, the Snickers Bar TM. would reach out and grab the enemy, with chocolate particles coming off. And for his ultimate, Windfire Wheels, his dash would have candy particles coming off of it, the hit and miss circles would be candy, and the background would be chocolate rain. Now it's time to pick your favourite. Turn annotations on and click the little eye in the top right corner of the video. From there, you can pick your favourite concept out of all three. The winner will be announced next episode. And that's it for the Christmas special. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. As always, the concept submission form is in the description if you want your concept on the show. You can subscribe to not miss an episode, and like this video if you enjoyed. Thank you all for a wonderful year on YouTube, and from all of us here at Non Network, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you all again in 2017.